Hello, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. And I am uh, welcoming you to my regular, say, live show where we discuss opportunities that exist with respect to moving abroad. Trust me, this is one episode you don't want to miss. So I am asking you now to start buzzing and calling your friends to come join you and watch this episode because we're talking about how to move to Europe for free, 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 free opportunities that exist that you probably haven't heard about before. For those who are just joining in for the first time, I am Waka Waka Doctor and you're welcome to my live channel. Um, I use all my social media handles on Instagram, Twitter and uh, YouTube, of course, to talk about how you can move abroad. And so there are several opportunities you can watch on my YouTube channel um, that would educate you as, as to the processes involved. So irrespective of where you want to go, France, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, Finland, Canada, UK, Norway, Sweden, Republic of Ireland, Poland, Portugal, Malta, Switzerland, Italy, Spain. Uh, it doesn't matter what country it is. I probably have a video that talks about it. Uh, alternatives to US, Canada, and the UK, you'd also find on my uh, YouTube channel. Affordable and cheap options are also affordable, um, found on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't have a degree and you want to go abroad, you find it on my YouTube channel. You want to move abroad as a teacher, you find it on my YouTube channel. You're looking for job opportunities abroad, you will definitely find it on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me. So today, for those who want to go abroad and don't have degrees or are looking for free opportunities and they've got skills, you know, you've got skills and you're looking for how to move abroad. In fact, not just if you have skills, you're looking for a way to just go abroad. So today we're going to talk about how to do it. And I've brought, you know, the way we usually do it is bringing up people who have the experience to come talk to you about this so that you would know how to do it okay how to do it and so i'm gonna bring up my friend straight away so that we can get this started all right get it started straight away everybody wants to jack pass so this is an opportunity to move abroad we're going to talk about everything. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello. How are I'm you doing? You. So I, I guess we are clear today. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we're clear today. <laughs> Cherry, thank you very much for joining me. Good um, good evening or good afternoon. Um, this is Cherry. We were together before on one of our videos and today she's my special guest. I'll be talking to you about moving to Europe for free via vocational schools. This is an opportunity that a lot of people haven't explored yet. And there are huge and tremendous opportunities there. So grab your paper, grab your pen, grab popcorn, because you want to be surely writing for this. And um, as we always do, if you miss this, I will leave it on my feed. It will also be on my YouTube channel to be on my Instagram feed. And you just need to check the description box for uh, links if there are links that need to be supplied. So don't worry, I've got you covered. All right, Cherry, so let's get to the crux of the matter. We don't want to waste any time. Tell us, what exactly are these vocational schools that we've been hearing about? Okay, thank you so much, Doctor. Okay, when we talk about vocational training, we talk about those universities or not those schools or those training centers that focus on skills. They focus mostly like, uh, you know, like you getting the skills that you need, not, not the theoretical part that we see in schools, like in universities. So they have like practical, it's all about practical, it's all about those courses that you cannot see in school. Let's say carpenter, and let's say plumber, like all those, all those kind of courses. So that is mostly for vocational training. So the reason why there is this vocational training in most European countries is because 
a lot of people want to go to those white collar jobs. So many people want to go to, you know, like be a lawyer, be a nurse, be a, but just few people would want to go and, you know, study like plumber, like carpenter, like uh, healthcare, practical healthcare or practical nurse. So this vocational training is mainly for those people that don't want to go through the stress of, you know, theory, theory, theory. You just want it practical. Yeah. So that is what we mean, you know, my own understanding about vocational training. So this is for people who want practical stuff because we usually say that education is the easiest way to go abroad. So rather than yeah. going to study, you know, theory, 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 this is practical stuff. And what's more amazing is when you and I talked, you said that there are free opportunities that exist, you know, free exactly. opportunities that exist um, in Europe. And I thought we just need to share this. So tell us a little bit about when you say free opportunities, what are you talking about? Which countries are we talking about here? Okay. Okay. I'm so glad to share this information because, you know, sometimes when you post, uh, when you post some of your videos, I go to the comment section and I, a lot of people will be like, uh, but it's not free, but I need to pay this. I need to pay little this. I need to pay little that. In this one, you don't need to pay anything. Even self, there is one that they have to pay you to just learn to train you and to learn. They have to pay you monthly. So we're so going pay, to explore They pay this. you to learn. They pay you to learn. Yes. Go ahead. So, so number one, we are going to talk about Finland. So I recently love Finland so much. I just so much love Finland because of a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of changes that they have made in their visa. So in Finland, if you go with a vocational training, it's the same visa as someone that goes with their BSc, PhD, MSc, whatever, when it comes to study. And it's the same opportunity that you are getting with that same person. But the difference is that you'll be getting the, you'll be getting the practical stuff more than that person. So that person is getting theory, you are getting practical. You will have like a, a bit easier way of going into jobs than someone that is going to university. So when we come to Finland, we have this university called Vamia University. We are going to keep the link on the description. So this Vamia University, they are free university, free tuition. You don't need to pay anything. So you don't need to pay anything. So this is Vermeer University. But the thing is that there are other universities or there are other vocational training schools in Finland that are also free. But the thing is that you need to be in Finland before you can apply to those. But Vermeer University, you don't need to be to in Finland before you can apply. So you can apply from anywhere you are. Okay, now let me explain how it works. Vermeer University have only three courses. So they have cook, waiter, and make, uh, mechanic fitter. So how my audience or how my, uh, you know, the people that have gone through that, how they usually do, you know, you have to apply that African, <laughs> African brain. So what they usually do is that they will go, if you are able to get into that school, since it's free, then if you go, it's usually three years. So if you go to that Vermeer University, the next year, or you can use one year to learn Finnish language. That is the language of Finland. If you can use that one year to learn the language, then the next year you apply to other vocational training. So other vocational training now has those other courses. They have ICT, they have programming, they have nursing, they have nursing, they have every other course that you can think about. So the reason why is that those other ones will uh, they need interview, like they need face-to-face -face interview. So that is why you need to be in Finland for those other ones. But you can just apply brain and, and just do it that way in order to get you to what you want. So since it's free, you are not paying any tuition. Now the application is going to start by August. So you can start now to keep on like putting your CV or portfolio, or just put it together. And remember that if you're applying for a waitress, at least give them something that, give them a reason for them to accept you as one of their students. So, because it's not because it's free, then you want to apply and then, you know, at the end of the day, you might not get it because there, there are always a lot of people applying to those opportunities. So that is one about Vermeer University. Then recently, there is also another university 
even though it is not a vocational training, but it's a sort of training in Finland too. So I'm going to share the I'm going to share the name of the university with doctor, and then you guys can check it out. It's a summer vocational school or a summer school, so you can go there. It's also free, and the courses are also taught in English. So you can go there, and then you can apply as soon as possible. So that is it about Finland. So, so guys that are watching for for Finland that she just mentioned, I will put the names of the university and the links in the description box of this video, just under the video, so that you can check it out yourself and see for yourself. So don't worry about it. Um, so Vemia University, you did say that you can go first, you can apply for those three courses they have. When you get to Finland, you can take out one year and learn the Finnish language and then apply to another university that's free of charge. Hmm. Exactly. Okay, and, okay. and one thing, and one good thing about using that way is that if you can be able to learn one year of that Finnish language, you can go to any, not any, but most Finnish university for free. So you can go to the university then for free if you want to study in Finnish language. So there are so many advantages if you want to go through Finland. So it is left for you if you don't have money, then you need to know the skills. If you don't get money, you need to know the skills. And that is the language. So you, you know, you will not be, you will not have money and you will still want them to give you a lot. You understand? So, so, for, Finland, so for Finland, you've mentioned Vermeer University and the Summer Vocational School. Now, let me ask yes. you, before we move to another country, two questions. Let me ask you, can people work while they study and can they move with their families? So when it comes to vocational training, I don't think you can move with your family. But when it comes to like the university, then that is where you can move to your family. If I'm not correct, maybe people can correct me. But recently, uh, uh, Finland changed their law. So you can now work for like 30 hours every week. So that is literally like a, a full time job. So yeah. even if you're in a vocational training, but the thing is that you're in a vocational training, that means you will also have a sort of practical job in a company or in a place. So you might not even have the time to mix it together. But one good thing again is that this vocational training, they will give you internship. So if the course is three years, two years for study and one year for internship. So through the internship, you will gather the experience. And if you do good, then the company can also let you stay and then you can work. And also, after the three years, you will also get two years post-study visa, just like every other bachelor's degree, uh, master's and degree. from there, you are going to your resident permit. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that is one good thing about this. It is left for you to know that you have to learn the language. So it's not if they give you for free, you just relax. So, okay. and the proof of fund is also relatively cheap for Finland because now it's just 6,700 euros. That is the proof of fund, or between, something between. Uh, that's cheap now. That's about three point five million naira, or something like that. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so that's Finland. What other country are we looking at today? Okay, we are also looking at the Great Germany. Germany. I know. I know. <laughs> I know, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, anyone that is watching, but I did my research very well, and also through my network, and also other people that have been there. So when I, when I spoke with my followers, my audience about that, we are going to talk about vocational training in Finland. Now, no, sorry, in Germany. Now, what they said is that you will also need blocked accounts if you are going to fit, uh, Germany through this. No, this, the one that we are talking about today, you don't need blocked account. You don't need blocked account. Yes. And they will pay you for studying. <laughs> you don't need blocked account and they will pay you. No. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, so let me explain how it works in Germany. In Germany, they have two types of vocational training or two ways of vocational training. One is vocational training school training. And another one is company vocational training school or training. So if you are going through vocational school, like the vocational school, that is when you will need blocked account. But if you are going through company, then that is when you don't need blocked account. And they will pay you so that you work with them. At the same time, you go, they will register you in a vocational school and then you study in that vocational school. 
So that is how it works. So today we will be focusing on the company. We are not focusing on the vocational school because I don't know a lot of vocational school. Tell us so, about the company. Tell us about the company. So how it works is that for the companies, I, I also said, Dr. Uh, 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 there is a website called Make It to Germany. So when you go to that website, make sure you read that website very, very well. If you don't get money, read that website like you're reading, like you're watching this live stream. Make sure you, leave, you, leave, you read that website. So when you read that website, you will see like the steps you need to take, like the companies, like everything, secret things that you don't know. You will search it on Google, you will not see it. But if you follow this website, you will go into that database. That let, the me, let me have. interrupt you a bit. I can see someone here saying, ah, but the tax is so high in, in, in Germany. Stay in Abu Lekba that you are. Mm? Don't <laughs> go to Germany. Stay in Abu Lekba where there's cheap tax. Please go ahead. <laughs> Okay, we are going to drop the, we are, don't worry, we are going to drop the uh, links on the description. You just need to go to the links and then you will see it will explain the link so that you will understand how to click. So now, when you go to that link that we are going to drop, if you click on that link, please make sure you either use your desktop or you go to Cyber Cafe and borrow laptop and, and try to use it. Because if you use your phone, it might be in German language. So now when you use your when you use your laptop, you have to you know translate it to English. Then you will see lists of companies that are currently hiring people to apply for vocational training. So you will see like like hundred thousands of companies that you can apply. So when you apply to these companies, just make your CV, make everything look sharp. But also, as you know, have money, as you know, get money, as you don't have money, there is also a requirement. And that is, you need to know German language. So if you don't have money for your tuition, if you really want them, because someone that is investing in you, they need, they need something. They need, to, they need to see something. They need to see a reason why they should pick you. So as you don't have money or like as we don't have the money, then it's left for us to go online, use like some uh, language Duolingo. apps, Duolingo. Duolingo. Yes, to learn German language. You make sure if, if you just give yourself full-time intensive learning for at least one year, you will pos I mean, you will get all those skills even and you can apply. Months. Even six months. Even Duolingo six months. Can learn. Yeah, yeah. You will... You will get all those. I'm not, I'm not joking when I said 100 and something companies because I sent the link to a doctor. And if you go through the link, you will, you will see it yourself. I so Germany have, like, Germany have like 300, uh, 300 vocational skills or like something that they need, like the, the skills that they need from even rest, like a waiter, waitress, a plumber, carpenter. They need people because not a lot of people in Germany do that kind of work so they need it's it's a it's in their shortage those those uh shortage uh, job skills or whatever so they need people to fill that in but you will not be working in a place that they are speaking they are speaking germany german language and you don't understand how you know they cannot it does not work like that so it's left for you to just try to learn the language if you learn the language till be what then you just save money, write the uh, uh, German is exam, and you're good to go. So one thing with this German exam is that when you just get that German, it's, it's not only about this vocational training now. You can apply to Germany for free, right? You can apply to like bachelor's degree, other places like in Germany. You can even go to Belgium, Belgium or Austria. So it, there are a lot of advantages of getting this, uh, this, this German language. So with that, you go to that link and then you check. But you can as well check those links and see if there, if there are companies that don't mind you having the German language. But if you're applying for visa, they will always ask you for the B word if it is true vocational training. So that is the reason why it's good to just have that skill because you will have a lot of opportunity. That is the only skill they need you to have. And then if you also have a little bit experience in that particular field that you're applying to, then it's also good for you. So you can then apply. Wow. There are different courses, fashion, every, like there are a lot of courses, crafts, so many ones that the companies are 
uh, requiring. I have two websites that I sent to doctor. So one of them you will see dozens of work and another one that you will also see it, it is listed. You just use a laptop, translate it, and then you are good to go. You can then see the requirements and everything. So that is Fantastic. one thing about Germany. Fantastic. So we've done that Finland and Germany. Any other country we're considering today? Yes, we will be also looking at uh, we will also be looking at uh, Australia. Australia, okay. Yes. So uh, uh, we all know that Australia, when it comes to the undergraduate programs, bachelor's, uh, uh, master's graduate, that is a little bit expensive to go. But alternatively, you can also try vocational training. Because vocational training, I want to believe, because uh, uh, it is one of the, like, it's not only for you to search for work, but it's also another way for you to step up to like uh, back to, to your bachelor's degree if you don't have like direct or the qualifications that you need to enter bachelor's degree in Australia. So it also helps you. So now in Australia, they have what is called TAFE. That is, you, you're afraid of snakes. Okay, <laughs> you're afraid of snakes. Someone said they're afraid of snakes. So, so there is something they call TAFE. It is t uh, Technical and uh, Further Education Centers in Australia. We are also going to keep the link. So this 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 center are like uh, the center that has almost all the vocational government vocational training schools in Australia. They have it in so many areas in Australia. So if you want that area that there is no snake, then you can search it too. So they have it in so many areas. They have so many courses. They have nursing. They have healthcare. They have everything. They have so many of them. So one thing is that it is cheaper compared to you going for undergraduates. So it is very much cheaper compared to you. Your undergraduates, you'll be seeing, you'll be seeing like, 20,000 uh, uh, 20, Australia, Australia dollars. But, yeah, but here you'll be seeing like 7,000 Australia dollars. You'll be seeing like, you know, 5,000 Australia dollars. So it's left for you to like search for the course that you would want to go for. And one thing is that when you're applying to this um, schools, it's also the same as the universities. You have to apply through their uh, designated agents in your country. So the agent will then help you to process every other thing you need. So here you might or you might not need IELTS. It depends on the particular center that you apply in their requirements. So you can, it's also a way to move to Australia. And then another university or another uh, school is also called Stanley College. So this one, I chatted them up. I, I asked them because I saw that their tuition is very low. It's extremely low. You can also search them on Instagram. Their tuition is very low and they don't really have a lot of students. So one thing that I usually tell my audience about those vocational training that don't have a lot of students is that you have more chances of getting recommended for work because there is no much students. So if, they, if work come out, n only you day class, so mm -hmm. not only you day <laughs> Only they will they will just uh, recommend for those uh, for those jobs. So this Stanley College, I, I I emailed them and then they sent me the, the list of their tuition. I'm going to yeah, keep it on the link and then they also sent me the agent number. So you can just go to their website. You will click on the contact us. You fill your information and then they will send you the agent number and then you can contact the agent for your country. So the, you and the agent will then work hand in hand. They will help Stanley you with everything. College. That's Stanley College in Australia, correct? Yes, Stanley College, yes. Okay, Stanley as in S-T-A-N-L-E-Y. Yes, yes. All right. So, uh, and, and a lot of them is like, uh, a lot of them is like a uh, lot of Asian people. So they have companies. They have companies, you know, yeah. You just need to apply says. So, <laughs> yeah, that is it for Australia. So we have the TEF and then we have the Stanley College. So today we've looked at how to move to Finland, how to move to Germany, and how to move to Australia via vocational studies. I will put all the links that you need in the description box of this video so that you can go through those links yourself and start your application, read through and start your application. On a general note, Cherry, what are the requirements? What do people need to have as documents before they apply? 
Okay. So uh, the document to apply vocational training is just your high school. It's just your, in Nigeria, we call it Wayek. It's just your Wayek. So they might then have extra things like some might request for IELTS, some might not. So like in Germany, what they need is just your uh, B1 certificate and your, and your Wayek or like your high school certificate. That is the only thing they need. Then in Finland, they will need your CB, they will need your Wayek, and they will need IELTS. You cannot escape that. Then in, uh, then in, in Australia, it depends on the school. Then in Australia, it depends on the TEF center, like what they will require. Because if you go for those like Melbourne, like those top places, they might require more because, you know, you will, be, you will be dragging space with Chinese, with Japanese. So, of course, they will require more. They will have more requirements. So, but if you go to those lower places, not lower, but those normal cities, they might not really require more. So, and what yeah. about what about Japan? Someone is asking, do you have any vocational schools in Japan that's free? Yes, we have vocational schools in Japan, but Japan is not free, but it's cheaper than undergraduate and bachelors, as we said. So one thing or one reason that I want to talk about this Japan is that this school called uh, vocational schools in Kagawa. I'm going to K A G A W A. W A Kagawa. Yes, those vocational schools they have hundred percent sure that you will get job. They will give you job. They will help you find job after you finish. Wow. So that is where you will see a lot of Indians, a lot of people from Nepal, a lot of but some Afri like we Africans, we don't really know about this vocational school. So this vocational school, why I like it is that they will, you don't need to, you know, first of all, go to a Japanese language school before you go to it. They teach you Japanese language and then they also teach you the course that you need to know. In English. So here, yes. No, no, no. In Japan. In Japanese. In Japan. Okay, they, okay. That is why they, they teach, teach you. One so they teach you the language and then they teach you the course in the language. Okay. Yes. So because you will work in, in Japan. So how why people go to those places is that if you're interested in cars making cars like cars like uh it's called nissan nissan automobile, automobile. yeah i don't know yeah. Like, yeah yeah so if you're interested in in cars then this japan is for you because i have i know a lot of people that left like you know that went from another country to japan and then they got their student visa and then they were taught japan for one year and now they are learning they are learning they, they are learning and they are working in that nissan uh, car industry so it will also help you like it will help you both technologically and also like uh, your your kind of skills that you will get with studying there so in japan we have I don't know how to pronounce the name, but we are going to keep the name on the description. We have another school called Semogakau School in Japan. It's a... <laughs> we will keep the link. Semogakau School. <laughs> Semogakau School in Japan. Remember, guys, I will put all you need in the description box of this video so you don't need to worry about spellings, okay? Go ahead. Yes, you can learn Japanese. See, one thing is that you can do anything if you put your mind to. You can learn Japanese, Chinese, German in one year. It depends on how you want it. If you go abroad and then you just relax, then you have the money. And then when it's time, they will, they will send you back. But if you go to those countries that need language skills and you just try to learn those language, then it will also help you to live in that place. It will help you if that place is like comfortable for foreigners. It will help you to comfortably live in that place. So uh, this um, that school in Japan, they also guarantee hundred percent job like job placement after school. So they also guarantee that, and their tuition is also low. I don't know how to calculate it from uh, I don't know how to calculate it from Japanese money to to dollars, but you can just check it out. They are also low, so you can check that school out. And also there is another school called Nissan Automobile School. So that one is also for like a, a lot of men. I know that that school have a lot of boys. So if you really want to learn like 
uh, automobile, uh, cars, uh, uh, planes, plane stops, uh, airplane stops, you can as well apply to this. So these are the three schools that we have in Japan or that you can check for in Japan. And, you know, you just left for you to learn the language and, and you're good to go. So, All right, guys. Yeah. So, folks, what we've been talking about is how to go abroad for free with vocational skills or vocational schools. And these vocational schools are schools scattered all around the world that would teach you how to get practical skills instead of theoretical ones. So if you're into fashion designing, you're into mechanic, you know, plumbing, you know, um, welding, arts and crafts, air making anything at all you qualify for this we've talked about the fact that you can go to finland for free you can go to germany for free you can go to australia cheaply you can also go to japan um, for cheap as well remember that i said that i would drop the the, um, the links that you need and the schools that you need to check out in the description box of this video so that you can read them and watch them. They will be on my YouTube channel. They will also be on my Instagram feed. It's also important for you to know that you need just your international passport and your high school certificate if you want to go to Finland. That's all you need, your international passport and your high school certificate if you're going to Finland, and it's totally free. You can work in Finland for 30 hours every week, so you don't need to worry about that. But if you're going to Germany, you need to learn the language, okay? You need to learn the language. And we've talked about apps that you can use to learn the language, Duolingo or Babbel. You can use to learn the language, but the good thing about Germany is that you don't need a blocked account. If you're going to Germany, you don't need to worry about a blocked account because it is for free. So instead of asking for a blocked account, they will tell you to learn the language. Once you can learn the language, you apply to those universities, you can go there for free. We've also talked about Stanley College in Australia. That's a very cheap university or college you can go to in Australia where you can learn some of these skills that are available to you. We've also talked about the one in Japan, vocational schools in Kagawa. And one other school we mentioned, uh, Saragaki, I can't remember. <laughs> but I will, get, I will put it in the description box of this video so you don't need to worry about it, okay? Um, Cherry, people want to come to you and ask questions as to how they can go about it. And I know that you have fantastic content on your YouTube channel and also on your Instagram feed. So the question is, how can people reach you so that they can follow you and always watch you when you talk about vocational schools and stuff like that? Okay, I, w I want to answer a question. So like in Germany, please don't say that Cherry said you don't need a blocked account. You don't need a blocked account if you are applying to the companies. And we, we talked about companies today. We did yeah. not talk about vocational schools in Germany. So if you're applying to those companies that we will list, you will check them on the description. Then you don't need a blocked account because the company will give you a contract that you will sign, that you'll be getting 900 euro to 1,200 euro every month for your feeding, everything, for your accommodation and everything. So that contract just covers like that, uh, like that uh, blocked account. And then the age, there is no age limit, but in Germany, they said 18 years up, 18 years to, they said that they have like nurses that are like 40 years, you know, like 40 years. So they don't really have like age restriction. But also, you would want to make sure that you fill your CV in the sense that the gap, you know, you, you, need, to, you need to use sense to fill those gaps, like what you are doing. And also, if you are writing a motivational letter or something, you need to, like, express what, what you have been doing and why you are going to that vocational school. So, yeah. Okay, if you want to reach me, I made a video about Bamiya University, how you can apply to that university on my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel is called Next Step with Cherry. And I also have a Telegram account where I share basically scholarships. So if you go to my Instagram feed, you will see the admissions, admissions, what's, admissions. What's your, that we... what's your Instagram page? Next Step with Cherry. Instagram. Oh, my Instagram page is... Uh, I, oh. Let you me type, type. type your Instagram. Type your Instagram page. 
so that people can see. If you can type it there so that people can follow. Um, for those who are asking what a blocked account is, it means you have not been following me. And I mean, I'm disappointed you are asking me what a blocked account is. Blocked account is simply an amount of money you fix in an account in a German bank. Okay, you fix that money in a German bank. That's what a blocked account is. And you really don't need it here if you're applying to the companies. Okay, so you guys should follow Cherry2 underscore Christie. Okay, I'm going to pin it here. Cherry2, Cherry2 underscore Christie, so that you can ask her any question you want. Cherry2 underscore Christie. That's that's it over there. Cherry2 underscore Christy. Send her DM. She's willing to help you. She has a Telegram group where she shares all this information day in, day out. Look, Cherry, thank you very much for coming here today. Um, you guys should follow Cherry. It's very important. She releases all this kind of stuff every day. So if you want to go to Europe for free, these are opportunities you should consider. Um, Finland, Germany, and you should also check Australia and Japan as well. Like always, I will leave this video on my Instagram feed and it will be, of course, on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Cherry. Um, you guys should give her a follow, give her a thumb up, thumbs up. If you want to join our Telegram group, all you need to do is go to the link on our Instagram bio. It is Cherry2 underscore Christy. Cherry2 underscore Christy. Look at the bio. There's a Telegram group there. Join it and you will get all the details. All right, Cherry. I'll see you in the DM, okay? All right. All right. All Thank right. you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.